With the 145th overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Chris Abrams Drain, cornerback, Missouri. Hate to say this as a Kansas City Chiefs fan, but Denver, I believe y'all made a fantastic pick right here in Chris Abrams Drain, the Missouri corner. Especially in the fifth round, this is fantastic value for Chris Abrams Drain because out of the two Missouri corners in this draft, and it's very strong Chris Abrams Drain, a lot of Mizzou fans felt like Chris Abrams Drain was the better corner now. Ennis Rakestraw, I think, has more value to the NFL because he's someone that can play outside corner and he can go man-to-man against the other team's best receiver, potentially. Whereas Chris Abrams Drain is going to have a more specific role. He's going to have a he's going to have less versatility. He's a pure slot guy in the NFL, a pure slot cornerback, which is completely fine because there is a lot of value in slot cornerbacks, and every team wants a good one. No one wants to pay them like top cornerbacks. No one wants to ever take them high in the draft, but every team wants one, a good slot cornerback. That's exactly what Chris Abrams Drain is. And I think he's a second to third round talent that probably dropped to the fifth round because of his size and because of his lack of pre-draft testing numbers. So in the pre-draft process, Chris Abrams Drain graded out as a decent athlete, not a great one, but I noticed that he didn't do any agility testing, which is you know, a good chance for him to boost his score if he had done that. But I don't think you really have to worry about that too much with Chris Abrams drain. I feel like his agility testing would have been pretty good based off watching him play. He can flip his hips pretty easily. He's a pretty fluid athlete. I've heard some people say he's a bad tackler. I don't necessarily agree with that. I thought he was a pretty good tackler at Mizzou, a pretty willing tackler. Uh, Maybe it's something that can get cleaned up, but I believe that it will. But you're getting a guy here who, yeah, maybe is a little bit undersized, but he's tenacious. He's ferocious. He was a PBU machine at Missouri. Uh, I believe he led the SEC in passes defended last year, if not the year before. Hell, it might have been both years. He was just that good. He was a ball hawk for the Missouri defense. Now, he made all the splashy plays. He made all the big plays, got all the interceptions as opposed to Ennis Rakestraw, but that was because teams didn't want to throw at Ennis Rakestraw. They would rather test Chris Abrams' drain and they would line up bigger receivers on him, and he did pretty good against the bigger receivers because he defends the catch point really well. Even when a receiver thinks they had the ball in their hands, Chris Abrams' drain does a good job of knocking it out before they can secure the catch. And here's the thing to consider for Broncos fans if you're kind of on the fence about the Chris Abrams' drain pick. He's a guy that has only been playing cornerback for a couple of years. He started out as a wide receiver. He came out of high school as a wide receiver, as an athlete. So he has that background of playing wide receiver, which is part of why I think it's been a smooth transition for him to playing cornerback. But he's gotten better every single year playing cornerback. And whenever he first made the switch to the position, I was like, hmm, well, maybe he couldn't get on the field as a wide receiver, so they're trying this instead. But It was actually because he was just a damn good cornerback with good ball skills because, I mean, I think he had four interceptions last year from Missouri, um, really helped them. A a unit that wasn't great at creating turnovers, he seemed to create most of them, or anytime there was a turnover, he seemed to be involved in one way or another. Missouri really trusted him to go up against some of the SEC's top receivers, the other team's best receiver, and he held up pretty well. Sure, he'd give up a big catch here or there to someone that's a lot bigger than him, but it was one of those plays where it's like, ah, nothing else you could do. The receiver just made a great catch, but Chris Abrams' drain was always getting his hand in there trying to make it tougher. So Abrams' drain is going to have a very specific role in the NFL. He's going to be your full-time slot guy, so if... Denver needed that, then I think you got your guy. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on Denver's needs, but I know their roster is pretty thin across the board talent-wise right now. And you just got a very talented player in Chris Abrams' drain, who I think will be in the league for a long time as a slot corner that a lot of people will covet. So he's physical. He can come up and make tackles at the line of scrimmage. I saw him fight through screens pretty hard despite being undersized for the cornerback position. I wouldn't be too worried about his size here. I think he's going to make a nice living in the NFL. Those are my thoughts on that draft pick. Great value in the fifth round. Another pick for the Missouri Tigers off the board in this draft. Jalen Carlis went a little bit after him. Uh, So a couple of Mizzou DBs, a couple more of them uh, getting put into the NFL here. So just great stuff all around. But with all that being said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more people can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com for more. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.